Hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. So this video is all about why graph databases are the future of data engineering and why I think every data engineer should at least know about its basic principle as well as its capabilities. So without wasting any time, let's jump onto it. So the first thing you may ask, what really is a graph database? So graph database nothing but stores and nodes and relationship instead of tables as well as the documents. So I hope you already know about the relational databases. So in relational databases, data is in structured format and stored in table as a row and columnar fashion. As well as we also have some NoSQL databases like MongoDB, which stores JSON documents in its database. But here in graph databases, there are nodes as well as the relationships. So nodes, you can say it as a single record belonging to some label. So label, you can relate it to some table name. So let's say if you have like a person table. So in person table, there will be all kinds of person grouped together in that table. So in graph databases, we will be having the label and we will be having like several nodes which are tagged to the person label. So each record represents a single node in our graph. And similarly, we also have relationships between the nodes. So if we have like person and the location, then we will be having the has location relationship because the graph databases are very readable. They are highly readable and understandable by the beginners as well. So if we have like a person has location and the location node, which represents that this person is living at that location. This is very simple. So this is how the graph data model is different from the relational data model as well as the non-relational data model. Now let's discuss about why it is the future of data engineering as well as how it can replace the relational databases in future. The first and very obvious reason is the power of relationships because graph databases embraces relationships. We know that relational databases also has the relation. So let's say if we have like employee table as well as the salary table, then we will be having some foreign key. Then we will be having some connection and we will be having like an employee ID in both the table as a foreign key. But in graph databases, every record is connected to one another. That means that every record is pointing to the other, which gives us the benefit of the huge performance improvement. So let's say if you are joining both the tables in the relational databases, that operation will be quite expensive because once your query is getting complicated and your data is growing day by day, that query will have to scan the whole table. But this is not the case in the graph databases because since we already have relationship present in each record, Therefore, our graph queries will be localized to some specific portion of the graph, which makes it very efficient as our data grows. So it is not like we are scanning the whole graph. We will be only scanning the specific portion of the graph. I have already discussed it in detail in our Neo4j tutorial series. So I'll highly recommend you to watch that to get some more deeper insights. So the next and one of the biggest advantages unleashing the real world use cases. So this could be like from the social media graph to the fraud analytics to knowledge graph or the recommendation system. There are vast majority of the use cases which we can implement using the graph databases. So let's take an example of the LinkedIn. So LinkedIn has its own social media graph where we have like a millions of customers, which we can say it as the users. So when you open an account with the LinkedIn, you will become a part of their social media graph. So since your all information will be represented as a node and relationship. So let's say if you studied in some college and let's say there are thousands of users out there are already attended that college, then that node is connected to all of you, which becomes it a knowledge graph. So you can do all sorts of analytics. So let's say if you are searching for a second degree connection or third degree connection, that way you will get the results within the second. So that is the power of knowledge graph. So since if it is like a relational database has been used in the LinkedIn, then that would have been the disaster because that simple query would have taken the hours, not hours, but the days because LinkedIn is used by the millions of users. And that's why to get you the faster results, there comes the graph databases in picture. 
it is also similar to the netflix recommendation system so netflix also utilizes knowledge graph or we can say the graph databases as their backbone of the recommendation system so let's say if you like some movies and the b person which watches similar kinds of movies as you then that person will also get the recommendation of your current movie because it will predict that that b person will also like this movie right this is very simple but there are like deeper connection we can build using the knowledge graph and because of this huge improvement in the performance as compared to the relational databases there are some use cases in which only the graph databases can be utilized we cannot use relational databases for those particular type of use cases so the last but not least scalability and the performance so as we already discussed that every industry out there is generating like terabytes of data every day and you need some solution which can be scalable also will sustain in the future if we are talking about the performance so that is why graph databases is a very popular choice because it will handle the data gracefully and your query will not suffer as you add more complexity more features in your data model so that is why graph databases can replace no sql databases as well as the relational databases in upcoming years not 100% i think that there is like some sector which only needs the integrity which provided by the relational databases but there are some advanced use cases like the fraud analytics system in the banking and the finance industry graph databases is the way to go so there you have it we have discussed why graph databases are the future so i hope you enjoyed this video so i'll highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you will enjoy such interesting videos in the future and also ring the notification bell to get notified for latest updates thanks for watching